Hey guys, it's Amber and welcome to day one of my 2022 December daily. It's a little bit late and rate late is a relative term, right? Um, just because everyone works at their own pace. Um, I was hoping to have my first day be done and ready to be released on day one and life has just been getting in the way. So because of that, I'm actually kind of repeating one of my favorite designs from last year. So this might look a little bit familiar to you, but this is a mainly hybrid layout and a lot of my work is already done for me. So I'm using one of the digital templates from the 2021 collection, as well as a digital file from that same release. So I'll try to make sure that's linked below in the notes for you guys. But I, um, I'm doing um, a two page spread in the 10 by 8 album about going to a wreath decorating class last week. Um, it was the weekend after Thanksgiving. So we have a pre-made pine wreath and then we just pick a kit. It's kind of fun actually because we have like eight different designs you can choose from. Last year I did like an all red velvet bow. This one was a candy cane theme that I thought would be fun and it was an interesting challenge to try to figure out where to put all the different candies because they were kind of competing um, and pine cones and berries and candy canes and candies so it was interesting um but so anyway i used the template dropped in three of the photos of the plain wreath all the pieces and ornaments gathered and then the completed wreath in the class and then a photo of myself holding it and then this block, I just left a plain white. I pulled in that digital file that says a new tradition, the details, and then added in my journaling. <coughs> Sorry. And the journaling is just talking about how last year I loved doing it very much. Couldn't wait to do it again and created a new tradition for myself. So that was like the perfect digital that I could find. Um, that I went with candy cane wreath and how I just really love doing it and I hope to keep doing it. And then this photo here is just um, a photo that I had taken in front of the wall in my house. I kind of digitally edited out some trim that's behind me and it's a very very similar photo to last year and even the spread is very similar to last year and I'm okay with that. So this piece of cardstock is from last year's kit as well and I remembered that I had this piece of paper with this strip here so I'm going to trim this off and right now I'm just kind of laying it out and it's going to go on the edge of this photo here and I'm hoping that will just help tie everything together because it's got stripes 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 I don't think it's too much though and I was still going really back and forth on if I wanted to actually use these black felt numbers or not um, I really actually like doing all chipboard numbers or all numbers that are the same, but uh, I'm going to go with it. And I've got some embellishments pulled to the side here. I do kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be going with, but I kind of wanted to show you what I had considered. So one of the things I had looked at was doing one of these four by four cards that says traditions we love. I had considered that. Um, I would have had to cut this out, but it wasn't the right size. So I had even considered cutting it out and putting it on the photo somewhere set that off to the side. Um, for the middle here, I'm, I was pulling up some embellishments. So I had looked at this wooden piece from the Paisley Press Kit. I actually really liked that, but I kind of just kept digging to see if I found something that I liked more because it's a lot of green going on. Um, I pulled out these foam circles from the main kit. None of them necessarily had a phrase that I loved and I could have even looked at my stamps and maybe made my own which could have been like um December stories or December moments <coughs> but um the holly jolly goodness was kind of cute but it wasn't really the right color so I didn't really love it I'll save that for something else and then I remembered that I got really lucky last year and they had extras of these awesome foam hearts from the 2021 main collection. So I have a full set of five. <coughs> so sorry, still losing my voice when I talk too much. Um, so I did kind of play around with the joy. The bright green actually looked pretty good. But again, lots and lots of green going on. I did kind of like the Mary. 
didn't hate it, but I actually really liked the story with the black heart. I'm wearing black um, and it really popped. And then I thought, okay, maybe I can use this black felt number. So I pulled out some of these little green um, tree fake branches that are from Crepe crate paper. I've got one and a half. I ripped one of them in half to, to add three there and I tied them on with some ribbon. Lean them real hard into that candy cane theme. So I've got this spool of ribbon. This is a Martha Stewart one I believe that I found at Ross last year. Ross or Marshalls. So I tied that on. It's a little bulky but honestly it can go pretty flat when smushed. I'm, I'm still thinking about doing this even though I do really love this chipboard. And then I went through my stash and pulled out, I had um, a die cut from last year. Um, I had this die cut that was from like an older kit, this felt, um, felt vellum piece. Um, and then this was an older die cut. These are things I'm not gonna end up working with. This was a color cast designs piece that I actually really liked the wood on there. Um, so really, really went through my stash and tried to figure out what all I had. I even went through the die cuts and I really liked the craft pieces or even this deck the halls with the gold. I really liked, but um, I couldn't find other craft pieces that would go with it. If I went with the wood, I thought the craft might work, but it was like too many wreaths to make these work, unfortunately. I even tried layering like Allie did in her um, product put class. But so I also stumbled upon these, which were cutouts from one of the papers from last year's kit. <coughs> Sorry. And I had best part, which I really liked, especially because I could layer it coming out of me. But um, this tradition has my heart. I think I'm going to go with. I have this moment, which is a die cut from... 2016, 2017. And then I really liked the Let's Start the Season. Um, the color really actually goes well with the background of my photo, but I think I'm going to pop it up potentially with some foam tape. Um, I even thought about it after I'd found it and I thought, you know, that would have been really cool because I do have the digitals from being um, an Alley Ambassador. I have a few of the digitals um, available to me. I thought that could have been really cool to add that on digitally to the photo. And I even considered reprinting it, but I don't really have a need to. I want to use up the physical product. Sorry, I'm just trying to make my bow suck a little less here. Um, I don't want to get these branches better. Um, I, I don't have necessarily a need to redo it since I have the physical one. Um, and then, so I'm thinking about making like a little gathering here and kind of layering some pieces together right here in this little cluster. I'm trying to, so it would kind of have black, black, black and help create a visual triangle to lead your eye around the page. And I think that's kind of where I'm gonna end up going with it. I was still kind of considering um, going with the best part one. But I think I'm gonna stick with the tradition that has my heart simply because the title is about tradition and my journaling is talking about tradition. So that felt right for me. So really happy with the choices that I've made. Oh, the other thing I considered was this die cut here which is from the 2022 collection, but the cream was like the wrong color. And again, too many wreaths. So I decided we're not going with the wreath direction. We're staying away from all the wreaths. Um, and then the other thing too, if I decided not to go this route, I was actually like really happy with um, like a little cluster up here with my gold number one. But then this felt like so plain and sad once I'd seen it with this black felt number and this little cluster with the greenery and the ribbon. Like it just really added so much to the page that I decided even if I only use a handful of the felt 
numbers here and there, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna mix up my numbers this year. So all I have to do is construct this and I am completely done with the layout. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and the chat with me. This is gonna be a nice, easy one. I just need to trim off the top edges of my photos because I print eight and a quarter by 11 onto eight and a half by 11 Canon Luster Plus photo paper. I'm gonna punch the holes. I'm gonna cut this off, add it, and put these down, and that's just gonna be it. So I'm gonna zoom through that, and that'll be it. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to share day two with you guys. I hope you're having fun with the project, whether you are um, scrapping now, taking photos and journaling, and scrapping later, and taking notes um, of inspiration for later. But either way, December is magical. Even if you're having a rough time, like I've been going through lately, um, look for the joy, look for the fun, look for the moments, and um, we're going to get through it together. Thanks so much, guys. Bye for now.